Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 6. Today we're going to be doing my trailer breakdown for episode 11, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so today we're going to be breaking down the trailer for this episode. This episode is the Valentine's Day episode, so we've got all this stuff going on with Barry and Iris, they're on like a date, and they're out for dinner, and... Basically, the whole gist of the trailer is something is wrong with Iris, and obviously you probably watched last episode, you know how it ends, so that cliffhanger will lead into this, and that sort of is going to be part of the reason why we're theorising some of the things in this video, due to that ending of last episode, and there's some kind of crazy stuff going on, obviously some returning characters as well. So yeah, the first shot of the trailer is of Barry and Iris, it cuts between them, they're at dinner, and at one point, when it cuts to the second shot, we see Barry just, you know, looking towards Iris, and he's very confused. Something is off about Iris. You can see it by his facial expression, but also in the dialogue in the trailer, basically they explain the gist that, you know, something is wrong with Iris, and Barry has noticed it, and that's what you see in this shot. Then we move over, we go to the bar where Amunet Black normally hangs out, so we haven't seen her in a while, and... You know, we'll talk about that in a sec, but anyway, so we see Iris, and she's in sort of this, like, leather jacket, I don't know what it is, but, you know, kind of looking a bit more cool, looking a bit more, you know, rebel-like. And she smashes this bottle on some dude's face, so she's obviously been pissed off by this guy, and she's like, nah, not taking it. So this is very out of character for Iris, because, you know, she's not generally this angry, and she doesn't smash people, you know, with bottles, and that is the reason why... You know, if you go on in the trailer to the next shot, you've got Barry kind of looking very, very confused as to why she's done this. So this leads me to some of the theories that I've got in my head about, is this our version of Iris? Because our version of Iris probably wouldn't do any of that. So, with her being pulled into the mirror, is this a mirror world? Are we seeing this new version of, say, like the Mirror Master or something like that? Maybe the Eva character that was referenced at the end of last episode when she was pulled in is actually a new version of Mirror Master, you know, they've brought back lots of different versions of these characters, as Cisco explained last episode, and some villains have returned, some villains have changed after Crisis, so is she in a mirror world? Is this what we're seeing? This version of Iris is different, and then maybe it's not in the mirror world, maybe it's actually Iris was changed and sort of taken over in the mirror world, and then she's set free into the normal world, but she's been taken over by this Eva person, and, you know, her persona has changed so that she would do something like this, you know, go up to a bar, smack a dude around the face with a bottle. And, you know, this is maybe why we see Barry, who is extremely confused. You can see it in this shot as Iris comes back. Iris is in the same clothes. She's very casual about this. She's made no big deal, essentially, in the trailer as to why she, you know, smacked that guy with the bottle. But Barry seems very, very confused. And, you know, you can sense that something is off about Iris. And I do think it definitely links back to the end of last episode and what happened to her. So we go back to Barry, Barry's face again, extremely confused as to what is happening with her. Then we go to their apartment. This is sort of the Valentine's Day thing. You got some nice roses there and it looks very nice. Barry's smiling, he's happy, but Iris looks very uncomfortable or confused. And this is obviously another hint that Iris has changed because normally she's very loving and she loves Barry and she would be, you know, engaging with Barry. But she's not engaging here, she's just sort of blankly staring forward and she seems to be like she's not like actually there, she's thinking about something else. And so something's definitely wrong. Then we move on to the next shot, we've got Barry talking to Iris and you know Iris is basically trying to calm him down because Barry's worried but Iris is being very, you know, insistent that she's fine. I'm paraphrasing here, I don't remember any of the quotes in the trailer. But anyway, so Iris is still wearing that jacket, that leather jacket. Again, that's just a symbol of, you know, her not being herself because she doesn't normally wear stuff like that. And there is obviously a change in her clothing, but a change in her sort of atmosphere or like her persona. And then we go to the next shot. We get the return of Amunet Black and Iris is actually with her. So is she teaming up with her? That is really intriguing. However... Obviously, you guys know I'm not a big fan of Amunet Black. I thought she was rubbish. I think she's one of the worst villains that the show has ever had. So I don't like it when she returns. But I'm going to keep an open mind. I'm not going to, you know, instantly shit on this episode just because she's back. But anyway, I don't like Amunet Black. 
Obviously, her accent's really annoying because it's a shitty fake English accent and it's the worst. But also, I don't think she was a very good character. And I think that roots from her coming from season four, which is by far the worst season of The Flash. So, you know, I got my problems, but I'm going to leave that aside. I'm still looking forward to this episode and I'm very intrigued to see what Iris is doing around her. So yeah, Amunet Black is in this sort of standoff. She's using her powers against, I think it's the Flash actually, because it cuts to this shot of Barry in his Flash suit, and Iris is behind her, so maybe Iris was taken by Amunet. However, she looks like she's very complicit, so maybe she's actually rebelled and she's working with Amunet to try and do something. Maybe it's journalism, or it could be something else because she might have been completely changed as we've been theorizing. So yeah, let's move on to the next show. We got Iris once again, same place, sort of smirking in the distance, you know, like smoldering, like looking very kind of mischievous, like what is she up to? I don't know. But then we go to an apartment. I think it could be Barry's. However, it doesn't really look like it. So I'm not sure whose apartment it is, but Amunet Black is in there. She's sneaking around and she's obviously looking for something and obviously this scene is going to be some sort of tension filled scene which is kind of exciting let's move on we got Amina Black as she's talking to someone I don't know specifically who it is but there's not much to break down about this shot okay so this is probably the most interesting thing about the trailer we've got Barry and Iris Barry saves her I'm not sure from who could be Amina Black we don't know however look at this when you screenshot it you can see that Barry's lightning is in fact not his normal yellowy orange lightning, it's in fact red. And that's not me changing the colours or anything like that, and that's not them making a mistake, because they have CGI'd this whole episode, they finished it, because it's coming up next week, so it's all complete, and Barry has got red lightning, that's not normal. So, what has happened here? There are multiple answers I think there could be, you know, it could be to do with the mirror world, maybe Barry runs in, to the mirror world and saves Iris. Maybe this is what's happening, and that's why his lightning's not his normal color. Or has he been taken over by the negative speed force? That is definitely an option, and I think I've seen quite a lot of people theorizing about that. So I think it's mainly going to be due to the changes with Iris. So I think it's more likely to be maybe in the mirror world, or maybe, you know, the mirror world, or like being around Iris has like infected his speed force energy because. I guess the mirror world and the speed force sort of work on a similar plane because they're not in reality but they're similarly between like time and space and you know time doesn't go the same and you know things are different so potentially it could be affecting the speed force I think that is an idea but you know they're in this sort of car park or this warehouse and it seems like there is maybe a florist here because there's lots of flowers so there is some sort of attack going on and Barry saves Iris, but Barry's lightning is not normal. So be on the lookout for the reasons for that. Then as we head towards the end of the trailer, we got Barry and Iris sort of arguing again. And Barry is once again confused to all hell. He's sort of like, what is happening? And I think you guys have to let me know in the comments down below as to what you think is going on with Iris due to, you know, what happened at the end of last episode. I think there are many possibilities that we've discussed in this video and I think some of them could be true, I think there could be other reasons, but as of right now it's obviously not that clear, but it's very exciting because the way it ended last episode was a great cliffhanger, leads us into this episode, this Valentine's Day episode is supposed to be super romantic, but obviously you don't know what's going to happen because of this twist on this happy you know, date that they go on, they go back to their apartment, it's supposed to be all nice and everything. But then, you know, something is up with Iris, and Barry has sort of sussed it out, and I think it may have something to do with, you know, the mirror that she was dragged into last episode, more than likely. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, hopefully you enjoyed it, if you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, as we try and reach 100,000 subscribers, we are 100 subs away! Come on, share the video, and share the channel around, and I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.